for the second division of the Ohio Breeders' Championship Trio Philly Pacers, sponsored by Millen Acres. He won the Phillies for race seven at one mile, the first $23,577. Number one, English Rose, owned by Sam Swango, the third of Waynesville, Bob Harper driving. Number two, In the Money Bunny, on the Mike Metters and Tina Suttermeister of Reynoldsburg, Ohio, Jamie Dunlap driving. Three is Nobleland Sarah, on by Mark and Matt Rowe of Urbana, Dave Hawk drive. Four is Noble Lady D, on by Jack Cooper of Michigan, Marty Cooper of Five is Sweet Potato Chips, owned by Joanne Bowman of Medina, Ohio, Greg Grismore Drive. The sixth, She's a Cruisin', owned by James Shark of Ravenna, Brett Miller Drive. Seven, Future Scooter, owned by the Lunford Stable of Lebanon, and Eldon Combs of Agenda, Ohio, Eric Lunford in the bike. And the eight, Frugies Falcon, owned by Val Bame of Columbus. Drivers change to Dave Miller. David Miller drives the eight. Exacta, trifecta, super factor wagering, seven minutes. Seventh race, the Ohio Breeders' time. Championship. Three-year-old pacing Phillies, second division, all lining up behind the gate. We're close to post time. Second division, Ohio Breeders' Championship for three-year-old Philly Pacers. Field of eight behind the gate. They're in the stretch. Here they come. And uh, the ball, sweet potato chips from mid-track is first out. Noble Lady D right there to her inside. English Rose from the inside quickly in third. And in the money bunny comes away for it. Gapping three lengths in five, Noble and Sarah. Two lengths in six to she's a cruiser. Next is future scooter and the trailer, Fugie Stalkin. Down the back stretch, and Noble Lady D has won the first battle. On the inside of second, English Rose. They reach the quarter 26 and 3, blustering opening quarter as Trio Phillies move to the far turn. Noble Lady D by two. English Rose racing in second. In the money, Bunny is there in third. And the Sweet Potato Chips and Grismore have backed up into the fourth spot. Next in five as they come past the stands, Noble Land is Sarah. And now, first up on the outside, here comes Brett Miller with She's the Cruisin'. Future Scooter flashing out the cover and tags along. Frugie Falcon trails an eight. Half time, 55 and three as they continue to sizzle along here. Noble Lady D with the lead a length and a half. English Rose waits patiently in second. And easing up on the outside, She's the Cruisin' now in the third spot. Ian the Money Bunny on the inside races fourth. Future Scooter on the outside is fifth. Sweet Potato Chips is locked in shuffle with no racing room six. They reach the three-quarter mile marker, 124 and one. And it's Noble Lady D, the pint size Philly by two. English Rose on the inside can't keep up in second. She's a cruise and has dropped in third. Future Scooter makes a run for it on the outside for it. And the rhythm five in the Money Bunny and late pace from Sweet Potato Chips. Turning for home, it's all Noble Lady D. The latest five lengths. Noble Lady D has led from gate to wire. English Rose on the inside will settle for second. Future Scooter was third. Noble Lady D in 154. Three pins. Noble Lady D. Encore's a big one here, 154 and 3. Dave, she doesn't show leaving a whole lot. Well, she left today. Ohio Breeders Championship for Trail Philly, number four, Noble Lady D. A base Philly by Noble and Sam of cash or credit by crash. Noah Jack Cooper of South Line, Michigan. Marty Cooper, the trainer driver. Noble Lady D coming in from Sayo Down for her seventh of the season. One fifty-four three, a career best. The Noble Lady D is owned by Marty's father, Jack Cooper, of South Lyon, Michigan, has had some uh, horses, and Marty is, has done okay at times. They've gone out east and bought some pretty good horses and doesn't have a, a big stable and doesn't catch drive a whole lot, but 
races what he has and does a good job with it and did a nice job here with noble lady d ellie nothing better than going to the front and improving your position absolutely and you know on a half mile track like a lot of a lot of people will say well this horse can't be a mile track horse and what they mean by that is you just can't grab eight on a mile to back off your horse like you can on a half mile and that one little 